All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed liking a new T-shirt. Check it down in the Teespring, Teespring link down below. First link in the description, guys. Got a real special SPAC I wanted to bring to you today because I covered this basically the first day on my channel that this was basically announced that it was going to be publicly traded. And I had no real views or not really much action on it. And I just want to bring it back to my family now to go over this SPAC because the channel has grown a lot since October the 14th is when I did this video. And guys, check this out right here. This video I did, me cheesing there in the mug, down at, cheesing, cheesy mug right there down in the living room. And guys, I published this on October the 14th. You can see right there, 137 views. I had 12 likes on the video. And literally what brought this to my attention, I had no comments on the video. And literally I got a viewer today commented and said, wow, I can't believe no one is talking about this one. So I want to say Derek Murdoch, thank you man for commenting on that video. He just watched this video today, guys, on November 28th. And he's like, wow, Terry, no one knows about this and no one is talking about this SPAC. So that is what we're going to get into. And you can thank Derek for bringing this back to my attention because I just thought nobody cared about it. But I really think this SPAC has really great potential, guys. And as you can see from the title of this one, it's it was a hot new SPAC. And if we go here to Robin Hood, here it is. Ticker symbol, PCPL, right there it is. And I'll move it out of the way there. You can see it, PCPL. And the stock has just been kind of dead because there hasn't really been any news. Um, if you look here over the three months, it's been $10, you know, it hasn't, right here is when I did the video, back like October the 14th right here, it was 10.32, and here we are, it went up here a little bit today, now we're at $10.80. So, you may be asking yourself, what is CC Newberg Principal and what is PCPL, Terry? So, that is what we're going to get into today, guys. The company is called... E2 Open, yes, it is a cloud-based service. And this is a SPAC that hasn't went up yet. So you heard it here first, and I got the proof. It's on my channel the first day it was announced, October the 14th, that this is merging with the SPAC, E2 Open, and PCPL. You heard it here first. And you can thank me later when we get the gains on this one. So as long as the merger goes through, that's what we got to hope, man. We need that merger to go through. So... What I wanted to show you here is a picture of Philip Morris International and E2 Open announced strategic partnership. Now, what I think is kind of hurting the stock is because once this announcement happened October the 14th, there has been no news since then. So that is why no one is buying it. All these other SPACs are coming out, shooting up with great news. This SPAC hasn't had any news. So you're hearing it here where we can get into it. And look at their successful customer base here, guys. AMD, Bosch, Canon, Campbell's, uh, who we got down here? Panasonic, 3M, Avon, Walgreens Boots Alliance, General Mills, TomTom. Tom. Um, we got Shell. We got P&G, Plant Plantronics, PepsiCo, NVIDIA. Motorola, there's so many names you hear here, guys. Nokia, Microsoft, Logitech, HP, Del Monte, L'Oreal. There's so many. We're keeping with Land Lakes, Kimberly Clark, Kellogg's. These are all the people they work with. Johnson Controls, SunPower, uh, William Sonoma, Cisco, Unilever. Uh, let's keep going here. Who else we got? That I'm, uh, Toshiba, Boeing. They worked with Boeing. So... This company has worked with a lot of big players in the market, and now this is another chance for us to get in on one before Wall Street gets in on it, guys. That's right. We have a chance to get in on it, and we could buy the dip right now because no one knows about it, man. That's the thing. Crazy that no one knows about it. And if we keep going here, you go here to how they are going to become publicly traded, and if you look here even on their website, and this is under the uh, Investor Relations tab. 
There has been no news, guys, since October the 14th, the day they announced it. E2 Opens become publicly traded company through combination of CC Newberg, Principal Holdings, and that is it. So they announced that they're going to do it, but there has been no news of what's going on since. So yes, this could be a little bit of a gamble as a disclaimer, man. Could be a little bit of a gamble, but look at Apex. Look at the other SPACs taking off right now, man. And they are taking off right now like crazy. So this is a chance to get in on one that has a chance. So if we click out of this, and I went to their SEC filings. You see there they had an SEC filing. They have their quarterly reports right here posted on November the 16th. So they are still working through getting that merger going, guys. That's right. So any news we can get is going to be good for this company. So this is one... I want you to start doing your own due diligence and your research because this is one that is a little bit of a sleeper that we have a chance to get some great gains on it. I love giving you guys these opportunities. And like I said, get on the SEC filings, type in, it is, um, you can click on the CC Newberger Principal Holdings and you can get right here to the PCPL and get their quarterly report filings. You guys can go in there and do your research on it. I just want to make you aware of these SEC filings and their income and earnings and things like that. And here's an article right here where it says, Austin's E2 open going public through merger deal. And here is Michael right there, the CEO right there, Michael. He's the CEO of Austin-based E2 open, which has become publicly traded through a merger deal. And here it is, Austin-based software company, E2 Open is going through a public, non-traditional route using a merger deal to enter the stock market. This was back on October the 14th was his article. E2 Open is merging with CC Newberger Principal Holdings, which is a SPAC. It was created when the merger is complete. E2 Open will take over the PCPL on the New York Stock Exchange under the new ticker symbol ETWO. So I think that there is really key to keep in mind. So it says here that it's affiliated with the CC partners and assistant managers, had initial public, public offering stock in April. The merger deal, which values E2 open at $2.57 billion, is expected to close in the fourth quarter. So they are expecting to close this merger here soon. So we also got Michael here, who has been E2 open CEO since 2015 and Michael will continue to lead the company. So here we are, we're in November. They got some SEC filings. They're supposed to close the deal here in the fourth quarter. So this could be a little bit of a gamble, but this one could pay off. So this is, this is really good guys, this is really good. And here's kind of what they are about. E2 Opens offers a cloud-based program for supply chain management. Its product gives companies access to real-time data from customers, channels, suppliers, manufacturers, and partners. It works with a range of industries and its customers include Advanced Micro Devices, Microsoft, and Oracle. Founded in 2000, E2 Open was previously publicly traded, but its majority owner, private equity firm, Insight Partners, took it private from 2015, took it private in 2015 with a $273 million deal. So this transaction will bring E2 open 1.1 billion in equity invested in the company, used part of the way to pay down the existing debt and purchase a portion of the equity existing of E2 open investors. So back there kind of tells you what they do. And if you notice back on that chart I showed you guys of all their previous customers, what I like the most about it, it's a wide variety based. I mean, we had Campbell's. We had all kind of businesses in there, guys. We're not just focused on one particular kind of customer or business. We had every kind of business in here as a potential customer. So I think this has really great opportunities here. They worked with all these people and they're currently still working at Microsoft. So that's a big thing, man. And if they can keep proving that their products are good and the services are good, we're gonna be on a good road ahead here and this here was on, the next part I got for you guys was here on Reddit. And this is just basically talking about similar things here. This was posted about a month ago. Has the investor presentation link. 
and it has here the total equity of 1.1 billion is raised used to pay down the debt which we just read and it has a couple other bits of information you can get on reddit guys type in this in on our SPACs PCPL to merge with ET open and if we go here to our next one see this is crazy a lot of great stuff here but it's all published on October the 14th like I said nothing new which is a great time you want to buy it when there's no news because if this thing comes out with news it's going to go just like the other SPACs let me show you here look at these other SPACs if you scroll down here on this SPAC and it has down here people also own Apex Technology, Swiss Back Energy, RMG, Hennessy Capital. Look at all those prices right there. Apex is up 38%, Switchback is up 6%, RMG is up 26%, and Hennessy Capital is up 13%. All the recommended kind of SPACs similar to this one, in a sense, is right there. People's also buying these SPACs. So this is one that's still under $11 in the $10 range that I think is a great opportunity for us to get in on. But depends how much extra cash you have. If you want to take that gamble, I myself going to keep an eye on it and see if there's any kind of news. But the problem you hope is that, guys, the news don't come out and it's too good and you miss out on the opportunity. There's all kind of articles here covering it, as you can see. For the Financial Times covered it. Uh, this was published October the 14th as well. So I'm trying to find some new stuff, more updated than this, about a month and a half old, all this stuff. But this is everything that's out. And I originally covered this video, guys. I'm going to link it down below, or I'll even put it back up here somewhere in one of the tabs. But only 137 views on that video. So I literally published it October the 14th. I was home. I was watching Fox Business, and they had the CEO on Fox Business talking about this E2 open and I said oh my god I gotta go record this video so that's exactly what I did so just wanted to show you that I recorded a video the day that it came out and now we're back here present day guys um, November 29th talking about this spec and we're gonna get into it before everyone else does so guys comment down below what do you think do you like the spec are you gonna get into it what are you what is your plans I suggest what I'm going to tell everyone, man, go do your homework on this. Research the company, look into those financial statements on the SPAC, on the SEC filings, and comment down below your thoughts. What do you think, guys? Are you going to give it a chance? Is this one you want to get in before it gets hot? So, all right, guys, I will catch you in the next one. And remember to buy the dip, baby. That's right. Link down below, Teespring, first link to go. And guys, I will catch you in the next one. So, baby, let's go!